When we stand in the place of intimacy, where all of being is already resonant, we start to know the philosophy of life because it is what is animating us, it is who we are, and it is what we get to do as a human being while we're still around. But there is some compulsion, some life that is having its way that is in fact what is animating me and I can more and more intensely pay attention to it from the place of being, the place of intimacy, so that my philosophy begin, begins to be resonant with that which is true of life, not the great thoughts of my mind or the deep feelings of my heart. Those actually come to rest when I am in the place of being. My th thinking and my feeling realm become incredible servants to, in my life to deliver the goods of why I'm here, who I am, what I'm doing with my friends. But now to give that gift, the philosophy of that is when you give your gift and it is received, the world changes. That is a true philosophy and you don't even have to think about it or have an opinion about it, it's just the way it works. And that's the philosophy of emissaries of divine divine light of which I claim to dedicate my life to being. Homo luminous, a bringer of the divine light. We are all designed to do that. We are in a place of owning the philosophy of life, not the Jane Anatrini philosophy or the philosophy we've come up with that we're going to force down the throats of the friends in our world or argue with so that we might be right. It doesn't mean that there isn't wonderful conversation to be had about, this is what I know, what do you know? And this is what I've experienced. Have you experienced that? Because one of the experiences I have is when I give voice to what I know, people say sometimes, I know that. No one's ever said it, and now I know somebody who knows it, and you've given voice and words to what I know. Philosophy of how life works often gets distorted by human self-centeredness. And we can hold a pattern together, a resonant pattern that lets our gift be given and then finds whether or not it's actually resonant with how life works because we have been taught things that are not resonant and need to pass away. And if we are attached to them, we will go down with the passion of holding them instead of becoming more and more resonant with the philosophy, the, vi the vibrational resonance of life so that we might sing our song, bring our gift, know homo luminous, see the light, be the light, be the arms and legs, the eyes and ears of the creator. That philosophy is not an opinion, that's a reality. And what I advise and what I know is everything that I'm experiencing, bring it back to check it out. Is it really true? So that I have more and more authority and more and more passionate invitation to all of life trying to find its way back into the pattern of the philosophy of life. All of life that's not of human components has no problem. But those of us who are fighting to keep ourselves separate and keep our opinions polished up and owned, we have a wonderful opportunity to let them be burned up in our own light, the luminous of our own humanity.